My name is Xavier, and welcome to the 17-man medieval siege. These guys are decked, and I mean decked, to the hilt. They got all these crazy, like, I don't even know what these things are. This guy's got a crown on the back of his cape. He's got helmets. They got shields. They got, like, chain mail. This guy's got some kind of weird grin in his face, and this one over here looks like some kind of crazy Roman general <clears throat> on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, in any event... Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, hopefully defend against them. Now, I will say I've planned out the coolest stuff ever. I've got our new forge all planned out. Uh, I've got our new armory sort of planned out. And I've got our throne room, our dwarven throne room uh, planned out. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, before that, <clears throat> I have to learn to speak. But before or after that, though, once I've figured out how to do the speaking... We can finally manage to go raid these 17 guys and kill them all. I'm thinking, let's see, Paul Dos is on his way to go get a weapon. That's good. Uh, I'm going to, I think, mount Titan. Let's put me on Titan. Awesome. Uh, let's, Ulma? Yeah, let's assign Ulma to Brigands. Make sure Ulma is all set to go. Alan, you've got some weapons there. You can go mount Aloysius. Fantastic. Where is our last war bear? It's up there. Uh, Cinnamon, you've got some stuff. You can come over here. You can mount a Grizzly Better 1. Awesome. That should be everybody except Cedric, except Cedric, rather. Refueling Iron Dwarven Brazier Box Normal. Okay. Looks like he was actually grabbing the wood from over there, which is not the worst idea in the world. But, you know what? We're not going to have time for that, Cedric. If you want to come over here a little bit sooner than that. Okay, Cinnamon's ready to go. Let's get her up into the Cavern of Doom. Paul Dos is getting his weapon. Alma's not ready to go at all. Let's get Alma up here. I thought Alma was going to go Mount Brigand. Did I mess that up? I thought so. All right, there we go. You guys are all good. All up here. Fantastic. And Cedric, you know what? As soon as you're done lighting that fire, get you an alert, get you up here as well. Paul Dos, you're ready to go. Got your, got your Iqua. And everybody up here. Now, let's see what these guys have been doing in the meantime. They're setting up some sandbags. Oh, I wonder if they even have the ability here to set up their siege weapons or not. I'm not sure because nothing's really happening. It says it's a siege, but I think it's broken. Yeah, I think it is because they're not getting their uh, drop pods because drop pods were removed from the game. So all they're doing is sitting here with an order to build a bunch of things and they don't have their uh, catapults. Huh. I wonder if this is a mod incompatibility between medieval. Oh, how is there a dead, rotting lynx up there? Wow. Okay. Apparently that died at some point. And we've just been sitting here the whole time, not even aware of it in the slightest. All right. Well, now I'm a lot less uh, concerned about this siege because it doesn't look like they're going to do any sieging whatsoever. Yep. All righty then. Let's just sit around and wait for them to want to do something. Maybe come after us. Maybe we can go bait them into our uh, corridors of doom over here. Uh, then again, they have a lot of really long-range arrows, crossbows, arbalists, all that good stuff. So I'm not sure I want to get too close to them. Maybe close enough to make them think of coming over here, but not so close. Oh God, there we go. Dustin, Bettler, come on guys. Come say hello. Come say hello. They're not doing it. Oh, look at Rend. He's got all that war god stuff. Come on, guys. Come after us. Come after us. Nope. They're not taking the bait. We got major break risk going on here. All right. Well... Not too much I can do about that, I suppose. What's my needs? That's, uh, I need food. Let's get me off alert. I'll go eat some cram. Beautiful. I just happen to have it in my pocket. Get back on alert here. Titan, stop running away, you dupe. We need you. Fantastic. Just stave off a little bit of those mental breaks. I was really excited about the catapults launching um, random rocks at us and whatnot, but... Oh, look. Now they're all eating... Oh, there they are. Oh. They just got more meals. They have a command pod to get meals, but nothing else, it seems. Huh. 
These guys are seriously decked, though. Look at all the crazy weapons and armor and medieval stuff they've got. Well, I was really hoping they would show up and do something, but since they're not, let's get the whole colony off of alert. You guys go hang out, eat at the table here, have a party time, grab some more meals. Awesome. Whole bunch of stuff in there. We got cram everywhere. We got 39 ambrosia I had actually forgotten about. Cinnamon's making a run over here to go sow that area. Oh, because the Mufalos are eating it on us now. Bloody hell, these guys are always getting things eaten here. All right, we're, I was going to bait those Mufalos over there thinking about it, so maybe I'll do that now. I just want to get everyone's moods higher. Everyone's moods are definitely a heck of a lot higher here. So you know what, Cedric, get on Brigan. We'll just go back to getting everyone mounted again. Uh, and then, let's see, Alma, come over here. You can take Aloysius, fantastic. Paul Dose back over here. Let's mount Grizzly Bear. And then where the heck... Oh, I'm riding Titan already. Okay. Let's get me on alert then. We're going to come up here. We're going to attack these Mufalos because they're super annoying us. Maybe with the whole squad. We'll see. Who's left? I think maybe Alan. Yeah. Let's get him on alert. Get him up there. Cinnamon's about to be on alert when she's done sewing. And then you guys could zoom up here as well. Let's get all the Mufalos on revenge. Attacking. Alan, come over here. And as soon as most of us are here, let's go punch that first Mufalo. I hope they go in revenge. That's actually what I want to have happen here. We're probably... Wait, wait, wait for it. Okay, they don't seem to care. Hey, it's free food. If they're not going to attack back, we may as well keep going because it's just free food for us, you know? Cinnamon, get on alert and come over. You know, the thing is, though, Cinnamon, move out of the way. Yeah, because what, ha what happens here... Did we just... Did we just chop one of those guys in half, like, instantly? Oh, no, I mean, we must have chopped the guy on the ground. I see. Let's have chopped a new Mufalo now. But if Cinnamon was in there when they went on alert, she'd have to run away, and they're probably faster, so that would not work out for us. There's another one. Come on, guys. Go in revenge. We're slaughtering your whole clan here. Oh, boy. We got it. We got it. Yes, we do. Let's zoomy zoomy over here with Cinnamon and Alan. The rest of you guys gotta run like the wind. Run, run, Titan, Cedric. Yes, this is exactly what I want. All right, let's split up now. Two over there and two up here. Awesome. Not sure who they're going after. Oh, they're going after Cedric, or at least one of them's going after Cedric now. Cedric, you got this, buddy. Run, run. That rhino isn't fa actually. The rhino is fast enough. This is what the hell is going on? <laughs> this is hilarious. All right. This is going to work, I think. Come on, Cedric. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't get attacked again. Yes, you got this, buddy. Bruise from a Mufalo headbutt. But otherwise, this might work. We got five Mufalos chasing us into battle. Lead them into the medieval siege. Run around the corner, guys. Get down there quick. Cedric, keep a move on. We got Cinnamon and Alan down here in like the perfect location. Awesome, awesome. Cedric, keep going. It's nighttime now. I'm surprised these guys aren't doing anything yet, still. Maybe their AI is completely bugged out here. I really wish the medieval sieges worked, but who knows? Who knows? Cedric, you're going to have to come over here and bait these Mooflos directly into them at just the right time. Okay. There we go. They're shooting at Cedric. Oh, now they're shooting at the Mooflos. It's working. It's working. Cedric, do a battle roll. Go right around him. Awesome. Cedric, keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> what the heck is going on? They've killed all the Mooflos. They haven't really done much damage. Nice. Burma getting a little hit there. Okay. Hey, it's more damage than none, right? We got one more Mooflo chasing us. King, Burma, Bear, and BJ are all a little bit wounded as a result of that. We've been here for days. Like, literally days. Come on, guys. Attack that Mooflo. Yep, they're going after it, but they haven't hit it, so it hasn't decided to actually go after them. So you just keep a move on. Oh, God. Come on, Val. Now they're shooting the Mooflo, which is what we want. But the Mooflo won't leave us alone! It won't leave us alone! Run! Cedric, run! This is high, high stakes. High stakes siege medieval action, just like real life. 
Dwarves riding rhinoceroses around medieval tribesmen. Whew. All right, they took it down. So I'm not really sure what happened there other than we have a lot of food in the near future. Uh, Cedric also has... He got cut, actually, with a torso. Or cut in the torso, which is less than ideal. Hmm. I don't know what's up here. You know what? Let's get the whole colony back on alert because they don't seem to care. Back off alert, rather. Let's see what happened. Burma got a bruise. Item stash quest. Bear got brain. Mangled scar from a one... Whoa! One-handed crossbow. BJ shot, hit bear. Apparently BJ missed, hit bear in the brain, and bear's actually knocked out. Knocked out from a brain injury. Yes! Right through the skull. That's awesome. Hey, that's one less guy, right? One less guy, Mufalo leg, bruise, 20 out of 30. BJ got a bruise on the left hand. Anyone else? Snibs? Mm, not really. 20 out of 25, 17 out of 30. Dustin's actually cutting the right arm. Big wound. Big wound. I wonder if Dustin will heal himself. I don't know. These guys are all sleeping. I wonder if now would be a good time to go over there and have fun times with them. Mufalo revenge, that actually worked out for us somehow. Cedric's sitting in here waiting for some bandaging. Is anyone going to tend to him? Looks like no. So I'm going to make myself get in there and go tend to them right now manually. And then let's check out all of our animals. Brigand's looking good. Aloysius is looking fine. Uh, Grizzly Bear, El Numero Uno. You're fine. What happened to Titan? Titan's over here moving around. He's completely fine as well. Malnutrition severe, 64%. But he should be allowed to go to the animal zone, and the animal zone contains rotted corpses he can't eat. Okay. Yeah, so he actually shouldn't be able to get any food. Maybe what I should do is just quickly allow Titan to go into the home zone. Then again, he's sleeping, so it's not really going to do any, make any difference here. Go back to animal zone. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, Let's allow him to go to the home zone. He can come in here and have a real meal if he wants. That's fine by me. So what is up with this totally broken siege? What, what happened? Oh, Dustin over here. Oh, Dustin, death in 24 hours from the bleeding. Yes. Just going to thin these guys out a little bit. Bear sitting here, just unable to move. I don't think that's ever going to get tended to. That brain injury is just going to keep Bear on the ground the whole time. That means we could strip Bear and get a whole bunch of interesting gear. Scaled gloves, society tabard, scaled hauberk, nasal helmet, scaled boots, cloth tailored socks, suspended trousers. Lots of good stuff there. <clears throat> these guys are running out of meals now. Do they get... Nope, they got another delivery of 12 more. They seem to be just sitting here getting infinite... De oh, there's a bunch more. But these ones are on forbid. Although those are for me, I guess they're on forbid. Look at this guy. He's got some serious plate mail there. King, what happened to you? You got bruised from the mufalo. Eh, it's not a big deal. Dustin, how much longer till you're dead? Would you say? 23 hours? They're not self-tending either. They're just all sitting out here like, yep, here we are. Check these mooflos over there. They're all taken down. Awesome. Go harvest those guys out. Well, that's going to give us a ton of meat. I can't wait to show you guys what I got planned down here. It's going to take a little bit of a, an effort. We're carrying in bricks right now to get the first stages of it put together. But that's going to be a little bit for later. Assuming we can survive this. We do need to survive. I'm just really, I don't know what's going on. Something is clearly broken. But what exactly that is and how to get it fixed, I don't have a clue. All right, Tattered Apparel, Minor Break Risk, Low Medicine, Raiders Remain, Father's Royal Court, 16 left. That's because Bear is counted as being on the ground. So I think that they have to get down to 9 left. Or 8 left. So we got to kill like, uh, yeah, we got we got eight left. So we got to kill eight more of them somehow. Dustin, whatever happened to you? If they're going to sit here forever, then heck, that's fine by me. Dustin's death in 22 hours. It's going really slow. Now we got a heat wave, actually. Ooh, it looks nice, these colors. I don't want to waste all those move flows. Look at the beautiful summer colors. This is fantastic. Uh, concerning the heat wave, oh, that's one of the things I wanted to do. Let's get some more stuff put together up here. Number one, this will be a little bit quicker if we move this inside. Let's reinstall it, like, right around the corner here so it is inside. Uh, then I want to go to structure. No, production. 
And I want to put in a simple research bench. Granted, this is a ginormous mess and everything, but it's fine. Let's throw a simple research bench over there. I'm going to harvest up this stuff, which is fantastic. God, the colors right now. Everything looks so good after that dreary winter. So warm and inviting. It's awesome. Open up our uh, inventory here. I don't know. Are these guys going to sit there forever? Usually they attack by now, but for whatever reason, they don't seem to have much of an interest in that, to be honest. What's all that noise I keep hearing? I don't know. Almost seems pretty patched up here. Let's go check just to make sure. Yep. Triple bruises from the Muflo legs. That Cedric thing actually worked. Eventually, it will take out two of them. One for shooting themselves in the back with a crossbow on Bear, who's permanently immobilized, as far as I can tell. Affected by consciousness 6%. That seems to be perfect. I mean, uh, perpetual. Eventually, Bear will die of malnutrition. Dustin, for whatever reason, still is not patching. But you know what's happening here is the cut is getting healed. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's get me really quick. Oh, is it happy fun time hour? Me and Paul Doe's have an old board game night. I wonder if we're friends again. Not really, no. Maybe we'll get there. Who knows? Alan's playing some hoopstone, whatever the heck this thing is. Oh, now that are attacked. Sieging denizens from Father's Royal Court are assaulting the colony. Well, that took ten times longer than I was expecting for no good reason. But... It is finally happening. Paul Dose, get yourself uh, a grizzly bear number one. Let's get me... You know what, Cedric? Get over here. Mount Aloysius. Beautiful. Alan, Mount Brigan. I'm going to mount... Ti no, Titan's actually all the, all the way up here already with Alma. Cinnamon, get alert over there. Me, get alert. Get up here. We need to bait them into some of these traps. And hope this works out for us. Dustin seems to be hanging back, eating a little bit now. I think that cut actually would have healed itself before Dustin bled out because it's been like days and Dustin is not dying that quickly. So let's make sure everyone's on the way over here. Sure, our, we do indeed have Alma not on alert, though, is the thing. Everyone else is on alert except for Alma and everyone is mounting animals. So we got to wait for that a little bit. Cedric's up. Good. Get in there. Poldos will be next. There we go. Get in there. And then lastly, we got Alan. Get in there. Dromedaries join. Well, that's weird. I guess I got a bunch of camels now, apparently. And let's get Alma over here. So they're coming in almost exclusively through... Oh, no! My dromedaries are joining. No, these are my dromed... What? My dromedaries are joining from behind them. What the heck is this? What a mess. And they're all coming through the tunnels where we barely have any traps. So we're going to have to bait them up to the north of the, the area here. Let's get everyone up there. Awesome. Up there. Awesome. Cinnamon, where do you... Okay, Paul Dose is down there. Cinnamon's down here. Yeah, let's get Cinnamon, who has no mount, up near the traps uh, in this vicinity. And then I also have no oh, mount, so get me up there as well. Oh, Burma barely skirted by that one. Come on, guys. Step on the traps. So close. King? Lilo? Nope, they're all avoiding every... Whoa, what are they doing down there? Are they going after the insects? Because that would be fine by me. Uh, Cedric, you... Oh! Rend, by the way. Teenage male leading the nobleman of Father's Royal Court. Father sent Rend, his little teenager cave child, out. He's like, that's it! Rend, you've been sitting around playing Game of Earth too much. Get the heck out there in the real world and lead this... Assault on the dwarves, And he's like, oh, I'm just a little cave child. And then he steps on a trap like an idiot because he's a cave child. Although you think if he was a cave child, he'd know how to navigate caves. But, alas. Oh, BJ just stepped on that trap there. Or that's got to hurt. Although these guys have armor. Bettler over here stepped on this trap as well. That's got to hurt. Uh, Cedric fall back a little bit here. Fantastic. Let's get up around this corner here with everyone else. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Paldos is actually outside and may not... You know what, Paldos? Go around the back, believe it or not. Yeah, that's much better. And then we're going to have to be... Oh, you know what? BJ is now taking aim here at Cedric. Let's hide. Good. That stops the shot. Now, ready, Cedric? Run! 
one! Eloish's carry is- Oh, nice! They took one shot and missed. They're lighting my plant on fire. Just unacceptable, but hey, that's what they always do, I suppose. That's what they always do. Let's get over here in all these locations exactly where we want to be. Bait them up towards us. Fine, you can light my one plant on- Oh, no! My animals are not in the safe spot. In fact, I don't even have a safe spot for them. Oh, I can't believe I had seven hours to prepare for this and then just forgot about it completely. Let's put the war bore call uh, inside here. And let's ex restrict the war bore call from there. And let's get all the... If I doubt this is going to matter. Yeah, my dromedaries actually are already out there getting knocked out if they're not already dead. Uh, Play-Doh over there, or a boom rat too, you can go over there. What happened to my dromedaries, by the way? Looks like Oksana and- Oh, Dustin! Dustin, did you, get, did you get knocked out? No. You're just unconscious from being cut. Okay. Looks like Victor and Val came back here to shoot my dromedaries, and so did Oksana. So they're a little bit split up. And then Callie and Burma are coming down here to attack Play-Doh and my cow. And they're lighting a bunch of things on fire. There's too many- they're, they're all over the place doing a lot of things. My poor cow is about to go down. Hopefully we can save him. Lilo's coming up here, which is what we want to see. Nice! This dope over here, whoever that was, just stepped on this trap. BJ is now dead. Fantastic. This is a good opportunity to come over here and attack these guys. They're all separated now. My poor dromedaries might do absolutely nothing but show up and bait for us. But hey, that's not that bad, honestly. Death. Oh, Plato, my very first little piglet's been cut to death. One, two, three, four, five, six of them are coming down here to kill our livestock. You know what I think about that, right? Whole colony, charge Lyle. Or Snibs. Either one, really. Yep, whole colony, charge Lyle. Paul Dose, where'd you at? You're out there hanging out. Good. Come down here. Attack. Attack! Beautiful. No more messing around, guys. Get that guy on the ground. Did we just knock him down? I think we actually did. What we want to do here is attack Snibs now. No, we- no, we- Are they both down? Oh, yeah, they're both down. Holy, that was freaking dwarves! Dwarves, Paul Dose, get over here. We need you. Now's the time. Love camps attack. Ooh, dwarves. Dwarves don't mess. They don't mess around, guys. Holy, look at these guys, though. Please tell me my cow's not dead. No, it's just downed. Ooh, dead in eight hours. Now they're going after my other cow. I should have known. I should have known. Well, it looks like we're going to succeed here, though. All those you want to come over? You guys go take out Bettler. You gotta be kidding me. Cinnamon just, like, one-tapped Bettler there. Let's go after Ren, the cave child. Ren, you should have played more Game of Earth, friend. You're making a mistake lighting my heel root on fire. Ooh, Alma shows up. Hits Ren pretty sweet twice there. Paul Dose is here now. Cedric's here now. Shield Bell's not gonna count for nothing. He's on the ground. He's on... Actually, he's dead. There you go. Absolutely dead. This is really good for us. Because now we have some path to victory. Let's get up, attack these. How many guys are left, actually? Nine left. We only need to kill, I think, one more. We can take out Victor and Oksana up here. Uh, and that's the probably the... No, you know what? Let's take out King right there, in fact. Get King. Then, they're, then they should flee. Yep, they're fleeing. All right, let's off alert immediately. Weren't we all just, like, putting a few extra shots on King? Now, what I want to do, believe it or not, come on, I want to strip some of these guys. Some of this stuff is really good stuff. Well, we succeeded that time. Cedric, if you wouldn't mind, are you here? Uh, let's click on you. Beautiful. Strip. Oh, he's dead. No, Cedric just actually killed him right there. Bettler, strip. Anyone who's alive, Lyle, Snibs, strip, strip. Is anyone else still alive here? I don't think so. No. Okay, let's get Cedric to come up here and strip these guys as fast as possible. Hopefully, Cinnamon and Alan put the fighters out. That would be great. Cedric, you all right, buddy? You actually got hit there. You got cut with a short sword in your right leg. Wow. That's surprising. What's happening? Oh, we're attacking Soren, apparently. Not sure why we're getting hyper-aggressive for no good reason. But there we go. Soren's now on the ground. You know what? Strip that guy. I'm here. Me. Strip. Bam. Just get a bunch of medieval gear for free. Woo! That's one way to do it. Come up, Peter. Strip again. Oh, no! No, they're... Oh, no. Paul Dose, we're gonna need you to put this fight... We need these plants, like, super badly. 
All those come out here, extinguish the fire. Me, come over here, extinguish the fire. Who else is over here? Alma, come over here, extinguish that fire, like right now. Hyper priority. Cinnamon's putting this fire out, which is great. Alan's working on that fire. Uh, Cedric's in here trying to put this fire. We did we did do the stripping in here like I wanted, but now the fire is going to burn it all to the ground, potentially, which is less than ideal. I really want all this gear. Even if this gear, look at this, society, gods, king, this is all tattered and whatnot. This is all artifacts. War gods, crest, god king's gauntlet, society, god king's plate, art, excellent. Woo! I don't care if it's tattered or not. Let's take that stuff. We're going to be rich. And we're going to save all of our plants, too. Cedric, looks like you're doing a good job out there. I don't know if we're going to save all our cows and whatnot, but we'll see. Okay, all fighters seem to be under control. Cinnamon, get up here while we still have time. Strip the snibs. Cedric not only stripped Bettler over here, but also saved all the stuff and some of the plants, believe it or not. And let's strip Lyle. And bam, we're rich. Ooh, Dustin's up here as well. Bit of the old strip and a bit of the old strip. Yes, yes, this is fantastic. We got so much stuff. Get up there and strip cinnamon. Go for it. Cedric put the fire out. Beautiful. Hopefully these guys don't die before we get there. Beautiful. Oh! Bear the healer just died. I'm not even sure what from. I honestly don't even know. Well, there goes a bunch of stuff that otherwise would have been useful. Cinnamon, we got some dromedaries up here. Death in two hours. I don't think we're going to save them. Let's try it. Rescue, rescue dromedary two. How about this one? Dromedary one. Death in point nine hours. Nah. I don't think it's going to happen, but I could maybe he harvest this planet. I think they're both dead. Thanks, Dromedaries. You, you gave us exactly what... Whoa! Apparently this is happening. But anyway, those Dromedaries gave us just what we needed at just the right time, which is an epic distraction. Okay, moods are going to be super low after all of that. Death over Dromedary 1. Yep, no surprise there. I don't think Cinnamon's going to save Dromedary 2, but we'll see. There's the fire taken care of. Cedric's going to come over here and tend to cow. Hopefully we can save that at least. Yep. Oh no! Death on Dromedary too. So both our camp... Hey, it's just... You know what? They're basically free food. They showed up at just the right time to feed us. Titan actually got a bunch of cuts there in his body. His rear right leg and his rear left leg. Crazy. This cow we're going to save as well. And let's remember to get the animals back into the animal zone so they can go wherever it is they need to go. Looks like we did lose our pig, though. Our boom rat somehow managed to survive. <laughs> Who knows how. And who's going to tend to Cedric? No one, because he's actually tending to cow. Wow, he's he's just... Uh, he's having a hard time getting rid of that cut in the right... Oh, never mind! Be Cedric is now paranoid from being super drowsy. It's all hopeless. We're wasting our time. He's like sitting there, ble his left, his right leg rather, is bleeding out. He's like trying to save the cow. He's like, oh, I can't, I can't do it. The cow won't get saved. It's too impossible. And he just gives up on life and starts wandering around, accepting his fate. Cedric, we'll save you though. We're going to save everybody and everything here. Wow. So we had a little bit of a mess, but think of what just happened. Number one, we've got like 10 billion mufalos, like nine dead mufalos we can eat and skin. We got two dromedaries. Now, we can also skin. We've got tons, and I mean tons, of fantastic socks, armor, leather, all that cool stuff. We've got a full suit of God King stuff up here. I don't even know what that is, but I feel like, you know what? I want it. Uh, in the morning when I wake up, my rest is almost here. I'm going to go strip that and manually equip probably all of it. Rescuing cow two. Well, let me do that first. Rescuing the cow. Well, I'm feeding all the cows because I'm a good guy. Delivering that camel to the stockpile zone. Feeding the other cow, fantastic. We're feeding Titan. Let me come up here and prioritize stripping Ren to the cave child. Boy, look at this crazy stuff. I'm going to force wear it all. I'm going to force wear society, god, king's plate. Ooh, I'm going to look like the craziest dwarf you've ever seen. Force wear, god, king's boots, excellent. Are these techno socks? I've got techno socks, whatever the heck that. Ooh, look at this. War God's Crest. Hell yes. I'm going to equip that battle axe too. <gasps> what a cool... Let's also equip this thing as well. Let's get these exceptional pants. We're going to have incre incredibly massive amounts of tattered stuff. But holy bananas. Let's look at my needs now. What's the deal with the tainted? 
Tainted spender or trousers, striped trousers, negative five. It might go way lower because we're wearing 900 tainted things. But I mean, look at this. I look insane. I'm just the ultimate, ultimate dwarf. of good luck, Baldos. He ain't beating me in the next competition. I can tell you that much. Wow. Speaking of, Baldos, you want to come over here? I know you're sleeping right now, right? Uh, but in two seconds, you'll be done with that. I'm going to shift click up here to equip that steel battle axe whenever you're done. And now, I don't even know what to say. This is insane. How was the temperature in here? Uh, 140. It's actually a heat wave, so that's pretty bad. Kyle's might get heat stroke. Cedric, you all right, buddy? You're death in 12 hours and you're still wandering. Wow, thanks, Cedric. Way to wander in here. Oh, God. Medical, lots of issues. Let's get Alan. He's on a six. No, let's get him on a three on cleaning. That's some high priority stuff right there. I know he's moving some stuff around and whatnot. Digging at, no, Alan, what are you doing digging at sandstone? That is so not a high priority task, Alan. Uh, let's get cleaning on a one since you're not listening to me. You're still, okay, now you're cleaning, but you're cleaning all this. Uh, let's just quickly clear the home area out of there. Let's, yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll mess with this later. I just want to clean up all the blood and everything inside here. Cedric's now on the ground. I'm tending to Cedric. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Although I stopped tending to him in the middle of it for unknown reasons. Couldn't tell you why. Uh, blood loss is a problem here. Reserved by cinnamon. Cedric, will you actually die from blood loss? Your consciousness is 10%. I don't think so, unless that goes to zero. Where is cinnamon? Cinnamon's coming to heal you, but from where? All the way over there, okay? Let's hope this goes quicker than it's going right now. No more blood loss, Cedric. Boom. Are you hungry? Nope, we took care of that too, so you'll survive. However, that blood loss did get consciousness down to 10%. That's pretty dicey. Alan's cleaning up the blood bath down here. Hopefully this reduces mental breaks to zero. Peace Talks quest. Okay. I wonder who that's all about. Is it these guys? Is uh, father a little bit sad at losing his son and now I'm wearing all of his armor and whatnot? I'm going to go to the Peace Talks quest and be like, Greetings, father. How do uh, you remember this armor? How do I look at it, eh? Rachel, leading nobleman of Father's Royal Court, has sent us a message. She wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with her faction and receive gifts, but beware, a poor negotiator can cause more harm than good and even anger them. All right, this seems like a smart idea. Uh, It's not that far away either. Let's check the distance from here to there. That's going to be one day of travel. I don't know what that... I've never done that mission, but I think I might set a goal of trying to do it. But first, we've got to, we obviously have a million things to do here to get caught up. Let's just make sure everyone's doing all... Oh! Alma just went on a mental break. You know why, of course, because I got cleaning on a one. Let's put that cleaning back to a four, like it should be, because now Alma was running around, like, not even doing bed rest or anything like that. Oh, no, sorry, actually... Never mind, that's Alan. Never mind. Why did Alma... Why is Alma in a sad, sad state here, wandering? Is it from all the corpses and the pain? Observe rotting corpse times four, awful bedroom, disturbed sleep. Yeah, that's why. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Alan, did you end up cleaning up the whole base? Yep, whole base looks spotless. Absolutely spotless. Thanks, Alan. That's just what we needed. Now, this is a good opportunity to showcase all my new fancy stuff. Shall we? So this is what it's going to look like. Bam! So all of these things that are T's here, this is going to be lava uh, once we get around to putting it in. So basically, it's going to be like a full lava room here. And we're going to have a couple paths we carve through the lava to get out to platforms where we do... Uh, this is going to be the medieval... The medieval times of smithies or whatever they are. There's two of them. There's like a 3x3 three three and there's like a 1x2. I'm going to put both of them out. I have a little platform down here for the 1x2. And then over here, of course, we have the... Uh, Anvil and Forge from Lord of the Rings. We're going to have three different forging things inside here. Then I figured these things over here would just be statues we can make. We can get Paul Dose making sca statues. All of this is accessible through this main door. And we have the f statues of the four founding colonists on either side here after we cut in uh, to these little cubbies. Then, as you can see down here, the yellow is going to be the platforms. We're going to make a natural lava flow through here, wall this off. So it's going to naturally come over here. All the red is lava. 
And this is going to be the throne room. It's going to be just like suspended in a giant room full of lava. All the purple is supports that go up to the ceiling that actually hold the roof in, like giant, giant supports. And then we can have uh, the brazier boxes on either side here and here. A uh, giant dwarven throne down there. And then we can have some cool like blue mithril lights on either side there. And then these ones can be uh, probably dwarven candelabras and whatnot. So that's going to be eventually our really awesome throne room directly next to our super awesome a forge, forging crafting area through the, the Hall of Heroes, I might call it. And then, because I have this Terraform mod, I decided, you know what? Why don't we actually make this water? We can make shallow water, and then we can have, like, medium-sized running water, believe it or not, using the Terraform mod. And, because this, naturally speaking, this should be water. Like, all the mountains here would, would drain the water into this area. So we can kind of make this at least a little bit of water. Pretend there's like a waterfall here. The water can run through the rock here, cut through it. This is kind of like a natural water run, I suppose, into an underground cavern. It'll spill out over here to more water. And then this will be our armory, where, where the lava kind of flows into it a little bit. This will be like some sand and whatnot. Uh, so we come through here to get to the armory. We have a little bit of like normal stuff, like socks and shirts and stuff all along these walls. But then you cross a bridge over the river to get to all the really cool arms and armors and whatnot. that are going to be lining the walls over there. It's going to be amazing when I get to putting all that stuff in. I'm super, super excited about it. Of course, we've got a million other things to do before that. But we did just succeed in killing that ginormous group of guys there were 17 of them by the way there is a heat stroke extreme break risk on cedric cedric you need to get some get some mood up buddy go pick up your hammer that's a good idea but then what beauty is getting a little bit higher that's good wearing cloth pants good idea ugly environment serious pain the environment's not too ugly i don't think speaking of ugly environment let's get alan back to a two just briefly See what Cedric's up to. Gonna haul some stuff on his way up here. He's not the happiest dwarf right now. Hope he can get through that serious pain. Just maybe get some new untattered pants or something. Maybe that'll make a difference. There we go. New pants in darkness, unsightly environment. We're working on it. We're working on it. Now we've got a million things to haul. Speaking of, one thing I didn't get to do with this haul mod was I wanted to um, actually make this a door. We got. Probably like one, two, three. This is going to be our storage area, I think. Just a giant cavern. And there's not going to be a huge amount to say about this. Uh, we're just going to cut the whole thing as much as we can cut it. And whoopsie daisy, I did that one a little bit wrong there. But this will be another thing for Paul Dose. And eventually, or probably not even eventually, but pretty soon, we're going to have him start making artwork as well. I don't know where we're going to make his little art studio. It's probably a pretty good question. I'm zooming in a little bit here. Um, just for a minute. Just let me get this done. Okay. And then everything in between that is going to be something Paul Dose eventually mines out. Awesome. All right, well... What are we up to now? Let's see what people are doing. And let's also shut this off because it's going to be hyper distracting. So Cedric's hauling in blocks to all of this area. That's all of our sandstone. It's almost all gone there. Yep, he put most of it in. We just got like one more to go. Most of these things were going to be on for bid, but I left that one on by mistake. Uh, down over here, we're still hauling all these corpses down. Boy, that's a lot of armor. Weapons and armor. It's all tainted though, but still some pretty cool. I love the medieval mod. It is. It just looks so good. Everything in it just looks so good. But yeah, we got we got so much hauling. Like, look at all this hauling we have. All this stuff is outside, technically speaking. So maybe Paul Dos should go back to mining. And in fact, let's come over here to do some orders. Do a bit of the old mine plan. Beautiful. Uh, let's do mine. There we go. Yeah, basically, maybe I'll just make this a little bit smaller for now and we can finish it up later just so we have some place to put some of our stuff because right now we have absolutely no place to put anything. 
Uh, and then we could switch back over here. Simon was doing hauling and stuff. Probably not a bad idea, but... Another thing I could do just temporarily is we could throw down a door, like a quick wooden door right there. And this is actually an, an enclosed stockpile zone after that. So we could probably fit a little bit more stuff in there. Not the most stuff, but grab this. Copy settings, grab that. Paste settings. Beautiful. Just a little bit more. And you know what else I can do? Iron doesn't rot outside. So here's another thing. Let's... I hate to do this because I want it all to be organized, but whatever. Let's put this over here. This is going to be clear all priority preferred. Raw resources, uh, iron, and steel. Those two things won't rot outside. You know what else won't rot outside is bricks, which I think are under stone. Okay, all stone blocks, and they're awesome. And that should take priority over these ones, so they should get all hauled out, and we'll have a lot more space. Good. Now it's just a matter of letting everyone get around to doing what they need to do, and also making sure moods stay high. Cinnamon observed a million rotting corpses. Always a conundrum, but we do have corpses to move. Oh, the moofalos are all rotting. No! So many of them rotted, but we actually still... Go That's dromedary meat. That's pork. Moofalo meat, 375. We at least got some of it. What's the temperature, by the way? 120? I don't think dwarves care about that. Look at this. Alan's over here cleaning up still. By the way, all these ambrosia bushes we could technically harvest... Just have a ton of ambrosia for no reason. Paul Dose, you want to butcher that thing before it dies horrifically? My plan did sort of work with the Mooflos there, believe it or not. Oh, and poor at long last Dustin has died. Perished. <laughs> that one cut. Oh, that was amazing. Let's try to butcher this thing with Paul Dose here, like, super quickly. Is he? He's actually butchering. Yeah, good. Okay, good. Bam. Then we didn't waste that one. Unfortunately, we did waste quite a few of them. At least three. But, I mean, there were, I think, nine. No, we wasted, actually, four. Four mooflos. Oh, I feel bad about that. Such a lot of waste of meat. But we also got the camels on top. We honestly just had way too much going on at that point. So, at this point, uh, we have millions of jobs, millions of catching up to do. Alan's cleaning up into our soon-to-be... Oh, that's so fast. He does such a good job. He does such a good job cleaning up. It's awesome. Paul Dose has already cut the door down. You know what we need over here is a limestone block. A uh, grand door. This one we actually are going to need to build pretty soon. Unfortunately, I don't even have a single limestone block, so that's not happening anytime soon. And I believe now that Cedric's mostly recovered, we can get Alan here back to his normal six on cleaning, so he'll get to crafting more bricks. And there we go. Alma found at least one helmet to go equip there, which is nice. Getting some stuff down here. Hopefully get this stuff hauled in. Let's just speed the game up for a little bit here and recover from that giant raid. Now, the amount of hauling we have to do right now. We got all these things, all those things, all these things. Uh, we get... I think we've got all the corpses already, which is great. Hate to waste all this. That's a death helmet, too, right there. Royal Plated Gauntlets, Royal Mask. It's not even tattered. Royal Society, that's not even tattered either. You know what? Vindar just never bothered to make anything in Medieval tattered. Which, I'm going to just role play like it's tattered. Ooh, Shield Belt. I forgot about the Shield Belts. Shield Belts would help us a lot if we ever get attacked by elves. Will we, though? That's a good question. They had like five Shield Belts, too. Did we find anyone who actually had one of those things? Woo! Whoa, hammer! That, I want that. I want that on all the dwarves. Dwarven war hammers. How about over here? Nah. No shield belts. I don't see any shield belts at all, actually. Which is surprising. What's the deal with these ambrosias? Are they ready to harvest? Let's harvest them up. Uh, these ones over here as well. Great. Harvest those up if they're ready to go. And let's check these guys down here for shield belts. So, no. Most of them were stripped. We got one down there, shield belt. No. No, only one. I know five of them had shield belts. Where did they go? Oh, they must have run away. I see. Okay. Well, let's just let the game catch up here. There's just so many things to do. Ambrosia is getting harvested. Cinnamon's got food poisoning. Lots more of things harvested. 
We got cleaning and hauling. I just I just did all of this stuff there. I'm doing harvesting like a maniac. Planting as well almost immediately. Taking care of all these heal roots. Woo! Look at them. Look at Cedric's mood. It's 100%. And he's even wearing a hat to match the color of his mood. He's never been happier. He will. He almost died too, so I think he deserves to be a little bit happy there. Slightly. Now he's cleaning for us. He's st storing all of our dwarven meads. By the way, oh, they all died. Yeah, because of the heat wave. The heat wave's over, by the way. All of our mead died from the heat wave. That's the one reason I need that. By the way, I did come over here to deal with this. Let's go to research. Hit OK. Let's go to passive cooler and hit research, so we have that. And then I wanted to actually set up. Alma has a pretty good uh, researching skill here. Let's set this down to something like a five. So it'll get done before, no, a six. So after all the hauling and whatnot, Alma will do basic research, but before the cleaning. And then that way, passively, we should eventually get this stuff taken care of. God, my town's looking really nice here. Unfortunately, a lot of these meats need to get hauled. Uh, thinking about it now, Alma's hauling some stuff down there. If I right click here, Prioritize hauling. Oh, you have to click the button to force. That's what people were telling me. Oh, I had no idea that was even a button. So people mentioned that like a week ago in the comments. I didn't realize it did that. So it hauls everything in the vis... Well, it... And then... Uh... Maybe we're just doing a quick run down there and then we're coming back up. Yeah, we are. I see. So, uh, Because that was part of the stuff that was in there. And then some of this stuff here is Cedric... Let's force prioritizing hauling all that meat. Yeah, let's get it all salted. And then, by the way, this one down here. Let's grab this. Copy these settings. Come over here to this one and paste them because I never did that last episode. Good, 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 good. We're going to have some of this meat spoil. Not a huge amount I can do about it. Yep, port's rotted away. But the rest of it's completely stored and ready to go. We got a ton of meat. More than we... I guess I don't feel too bad about wasting those mufalos because we couldn't have stored that much anyway. Eventually... Ooh! Dwarven happy times, multiple bears, and look at me in my god king's mask. I'm like, hey, Baldos, how do you like my shiny shinies, huh? Dwarven golden armor. Baldos ignores me and just looks over at Cinnamon, who's hiding behind a pink rag. <laughs> Cinnamon, what are you doing? I'm trying to pretend she's not a dwarf right now. Yeah, we see you, Cinnamon, hiding over there. We see you. She jumps on a bear and toodles, almost like, Cinnamon, come back. Come back. You're the only female in town. I don't want you to leave. Oh boy, this campaign. I think I've never been more into a campaign than this one before. Like, I was really scared about that. I wish the siege actually happened with the stone throwing uh, catapults, but alas, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? So now we've got tons of meat. We got tons of. We don't have any meals, actually. Zero. Uh, Paul Dose? Like, <laughs> oh, you know why? It's because we ran out of wood. I see. Right click over here to chop only fully grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a whole bunch of chops. Whoopsie daisy. That's why we ran out of wood. We can't cook because we ain't got no place to cook. Let's chop up a lot of stuff here. Amazingly enough, almost no issues. We hauled everything, cleaned up all the corpses, moved everything over. Oh, I guess we still have a couple corpses. Here's one. And nope, actually that was the only one. We still have some items, lots of items to haul. But we're just going to have to wait one more day on that. You know what? Let's just play for like another minute here. Just, we had zero break risk at all there for a second, but now Alan has a little bit of a break risk. Pipe weed tolerance small, food poisoning and an initial. I bet he gets rid of that in like five seconds though because he's a dwarf, right? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Hard to really say. What's his needs? Serious pain, unsightly environment, awful bedroom, eight without a table. We're working on the bedrooms. We really are here. Mufalo meat has rotted away, but that was the remainder that was sticking out there. Everything else is salted right now. Hopefully, we're going to get some choppies as far as plant cuts go. It should happen like high priority without me even having to order anyone to do it. Yep, there we go. Cinnamon, Alma. And then Paul Dose should grab the wood, come in here and start cooking the meals for a bit. We were probably eating a little bit of raw meat there, unfortunately. And there we go. We got trees, we got meat, we got meals, we got cleanliness, we got stones, we got plants, we got ambrosia. How much ambrosia do we have, by the way? I think kind of a lot. Unless all the animals ate it. I don't know. We'll see in the future. Oh, by the way, this is getting done. I wonder what it looks like. Woo! It's going to look good, 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 good. 
is what it's going to look like when it's done. I guess these things, you put one wood in them, and then you work on them for 17, and they build you a lava. I'm not sure if you step on it, if it lights you on fire or not. I doubt it. It's probably just like a normal tile for role-playing purposes. Ooh! By the way, here's a whole bunch more harvesting. God, this is just... It's just, uh, what's the word? Cathartic, I suppose. Just watching a million things get done. Dor oh, me and Paul Dose, now we're competing at Orshoes, Paul Dose. Nah, he, he got bored of the competition. God, we can do so much more with this colony, and we will in the next episode. For now, though, I think we're done. Tattered apparel is very little. Raiders we could kill in a moment's notice if we wanted to. Major break risk on Alan still. From reasons I don't quite understand. He should be fine. Just come in here and have us have some fun times. Alan, get your wreck up. There we go. Major break risk, minor break risk. Any second now, he'll be no break risk. There we go. Yep. No break risk whatsoever in the entire colony. And we just fought off a huge raid and hauled all their corpses and everything. And only, only suffered like one person getting sad about it. Uh, this is amazing. I kind of want to kill the insects now just so we can get rid of this last remaining thing here besides tattered apparel. But we're always going to have tattered apparel because... I don't think I can give up on all this artifact, legendary God King stuff. It's amazing. I even got this super sweet battle axe. Is it super sweet? I don't think it is. I think it's actual garbage, to be honest. Uh, what about that Dwarven Warhammer I had seen over here? Oh, that's way more damage. Oh, that is so much more damage. I want that. I want that. I want everything. Oh, and now that the heat wave is nearly over, by the way, or is over, rather, we should finally be crafting legitimate Dwarven Ale. Speaking of, I'm going to need to grow more of this stuff, the honey roots, because I don't have any of it queued anywhere. Unfortunately, because I was too busy trying to survive with other things. So maybe we'll switch one of these things, like this one here. Uh, like we could grab this zone if I could if I could select it by itself. There we go. Let's disallow sowing when that's done. We'll switch it over to honey root and then we can get some dwarven mead going. Everyone should be super happy about that. All right. Oh, we also have an item stash question. What's this about? Infinite chem reactor. Bullet. Maybe I might try to come out here and do these peace talks because that would be a fun role playing experience. But to do so would mean we take a break from building up our base. And if we get raided during that, well, we only have three people. Yeah, it's going to be rough. But at the same time, role play would be super fun for that one. A little bit. Oh, and lastly, let's get this door in here. It'll take forever to get it in, but limestone door. Boom, right there. And that's going to be our next storage pile with a ton of awesome stuff over there. Anywho, we made some progress today. Fantastic. Uh, we'll make a whole bunch of ooh, random things landing over there. But yeah, we'll make a whole bunch more progress, including our lava forge uh, next time. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. You gotta be kidding me. Cinnamon just, like, one-tapped Bettler there. Let's go after Ren, the cave child. Ren, you should have played more Game of Earth, friend. You're making a mistake lighting my heel root on fire. Ooh, Alma shows up. Hits Ren pretty sweet twice there. Paul Dose is here now. Cedric's here now. Shield Bell's not gonna count for nothing. He's on the ground. He's on... Actually, he's dead.